Just wanted to do a uh, quick video on uh, executive orders. <clears throat> and uh, I just want to go over real quick the executive orders that's been issued. Past presidents have done executive orders. <clears throat> and here's just a few. Teddy Roosevelt done three. Uh, FDR done 11 in 16 years. Truman, five and seven years. Ike, two and eight years. JFK, four and three years. Nixon, one and six years. Ford, three and two years. Carter, three and four years. Reagan, five and eight years. Bush, three and four years. Clinton, 15 and eight years, which is a pretty good amount. Uh, Bush Jr., he done 62, which was quite a few in eight year period. Odumbo has done 923, 923 executive orders. Now this, this needs to be taken away. This power needs to be taken away from the president. If he wants to do an executive order, he needs to go before Congress and let them approve it. Because we can't let a moron like him sign 923 executive orders, a stroke of a pen, it's the law. No, that crap's got to go. <clears throat> and we need to send a message that this is not going to happen anymore. I'm sitting here trying to look up some of the websites. <clears throat> Here's just a few that uh, Odumbo has signed. Uh, and you can look them up. Look them up. I, I was, uh, and this is just this is mind boggling. Executive Order 10990 allows the government to take over all modes of transportation and control of highways and seaports. That's martial law. I mean, why would you sign an executive order like that? <clears throat> executive Order 10995 allows the government to seize and control the communications media. Well, that falls under Operation Mockingbird, and I encourage you all to look that up. Operation Mockingbird is an actual government program where the media is controlled by the government to tell what they want to tell, like the lamestream media. You know, if they don't tell, if they don't parrot what they're told to parrot, they'll be put out of business. That's basically what it amounts to. And that's what's been going on through this entire election process. You know, they've been parroting for Hitlery. Yeah, that's why Hitlery lost, because no one believes the lamestream media anymore. Fox News, Fornicator News Network. CNN, they call it the Clinton News Network now, MSNBC, they're all a joke. The New York Slime, and you wonder why they're going bankrupt? No one believes them anymore. They're a joke, you know? That's why they're going out of business. <clears throat> Executive Order 10997 allows the government to take over all electrical, po uh, electrical power, gas, petroleum, fuels, and minerals. I mean, why would they take over all power? control you, to control everything you do, control where you go, what you buy, you know, they have you under their thumb, and that's what they want, they want total control, that's, I mean, that's their whole modus operandi, <clears throat> executive order 10998, allows the government to take over all food resources and farms, they can come in and take over all farms, okay, and that means your feed storage, your cattle, your gardens, anything that you have that you're supporting you and your family with, they can come in and take it over. What kind of dictatorship is this? Executive Order 11000 allows the government to mobilize civilians into work brigades under government supervision without pay. Uh, really? We're going back to slavery? Is that, I mean, forced internment camps. This falls under the FEMA. I mean, and everything we've been reading about the Walmart's closing <clears throat> and things going on. Whoops, sorry about that. My camera kind of slid down. I mean, this goes under all the uh, uh, all the uh, Walmarts that closed. You know, why did they close? Just out of the blue. They said it was sewer problems. How come no work permits have been issued? Why have they, uh, why have they not contacted any of the uh, cities for work permits or anything like it for sewage work or inspectors. Executive Order 11002 
designates the Postmaster General to operate a national registration of all persons. <laughs> really? So your post office is going to make a list of everyone in their area where they're located. For what reason? The work brigades? The internment? People, you need to look into this. This is, I mean, this is deep. And, and, if, and if Hitler would have gotten in there, this would have went full blown. We dodged, we didn't dodge a bullet this election. We dodged a missile. I mean, that's all there is to it. We dodged a missile. <clears throat> I mean, it, it could have gotten a lot worse. And Trump may have stopped this. Let's hope so. But the American people spoke up. They spoke up and said, enough is enough. We're done with the lies. We're done with the scandals. I mean, my God, look into Pizzagate. And look into the Lolita Express and Pedophile Island that Bill Clinton was flying to to uh, have sex with underage children. But look into it. I mean, it's real. You did a little. There's all kinds of videos out there. Executive Order 11003 allows the government to take over all airports, aircraft, including commercial aircraft. Why would they need to take over all aircraft? It just doesn't make sense. Executive Order 11004 allows the Housing and Finance Authority to relocate communities, entire communities, build new housing with public funds, with your money, designate areas to be abandoned, and establish new locations for population. So what are they going to try to force people into? i got to chew again. Sorry about that. I mean, what are they going to try to force you into? You know, compact cities? Get you out of the urban areas where you can fend yourself, where you can grow your own food, raise your own, uh, raise your own food. <clears throat> what, what was they planning? We've got to stop this. This has to be stopped. It's got to be stopped now. And your voice is what can do it. Executive Order 11005. My God, people, look these up. Allows the government to take over railroads, inland waterways, and public storage facilities. That's warehouses for food or anything like that that any of these big companies have, like Costco, Walmart, Sam's Club. They can take over all these warehouses of food and grain storage. <clears throat> uh, Executive Order 11049 assigns emergency preparedness functions to federal departments and agencies consolidating 21 operative executive orders issued under 15-year period. <clears throat> executive Order 11051 specifies the responsibility of the Office of Emergency Planning and gives authorization to put all executive orders, all executive orders into effect in times of increased international tensions, economic or financial crisis. Well, the uh, uh, international tensions was Odumbo trying to provoke Russia into war, and China. And now we got North Korea. I mean, he looks like Mo from the Three Stooges. What kind of haircut is that? You know, what's he got, Down Syndrome? He's a retard. I mean, these people are following him out of fear. If they don't follow him, they will be put to death. <clears throat> That's what kind of dictator Kim Jong-un or whatever his name is. This little retard is ruling out of fear, period. Yeah, I mean, there's so many executive orders. <clears throat> and here's one more. Executive Order 11921 allows Federal Emergency Preparedness Agency to develop plans to establish control over mechanisms of production and distribution of energy sources, wages, salaries, credit, and the flow of money in the U.S. financial institution in any undefined national emergency. Any undefined so they're not even saying what national emergency. <clears throat> I mean, they can say martial law. Uh, there's uh, we've been attacked. Russian hacking. Yeah, that was bull crap. That's done been proven. It wasn't a hack. It was a leak. It was a leak from our own government. A hack leaves a trail. Leaves a cyber trail. The FBI showed no cyber trail because there wasn't one. It was leaked by our own government. Thank God. Thank God there's patriots within our own government that leaked this information that stopped what could have happened. We could have been in a world of mess right now. If Hillary would have gotten in there, <clears throat> this country would not have, no longer 
existed. We would have been gone. <clears throat> but like I said, you need to get on there and look up these executive orders. I mean, it's it's scary what kind of crap that this mongrel has signed into uh, law with the stroke of a pen. <clears throat> and you need to contact your representative, your senators, <clears throat> and urge Trump to reverse all these EOs. I mean, they're, they're, they're garbage. They're useless. Get rid of them. Leave the farms to the farmers. You know? And anything else. I mean, in an emergency, we as patriots will stand up. If any crisis comes, we'll stand up. We'll provide what needs to be provided to the American people without hesitation because that's who we are. That's what we stand up for. That's, that's why we are America. And all these so-called sanctuary cities that this moron and Odumbo has put in place, well, <clears throat> those sanctuary cities need to be cut off. All tax dollars, federal, everything cut off. And these mayors that are standing up going, we're a sanctuary city, we're all for it. Bring these illegals in, these Syrians. We don't even know who these people are. They've not been vetted. It's hard to tell them what kind of crimes they committed before they came here. There's no one checking. They're just letting them in here free will by the plane loads. Shipping them to these cities to rape and do whatever they want to do. And they're refusing to work. They're all refusing to work. They're like, you're going to pay us to be here. You know, we're going to draw a check for nothing. We're going to lay on our butts and plan our uh, jihad. And that's what some of them are doing. Because these little phonetic groups have blended in with these supposed refugees. Get them out. Get them out. Get them out now. And if they want to be citizens, that's great. Go the right way. Do it the right way. I mean, and you have these Mexicans that are sitting up there crowd bullying and snowflakes and, oh, but my family, yeah, whatever, you know. Do it the right way. If you apply for citizenship and do it the right way, we would love to have you. We would love to have you. But do it the right way. You come in, you assimilate to our nation. We're not assimilating to you. And I'm talking to you Muslims. You Muslims. Yeah, we're not assimilating to you. Sharia law? Really? Really? You're an America? You're going to be an American. Otherwise, get the hell out and go back where you came from. You're not wanted here. And that's from the American people. We're speaking up and we're tired of it. We spoke up for the election. And we're speaking up for the country. Make this video viral. Pass it along. Make sure everybody sees it. There's more to come.